Prime Minister Modi will not travel to Malaysia for the ASEAN summit, ending weeks of speculation about a possible meeting with US President Donald Trump on the sidelines. The Indian Air Force is taking part in a multinational air combat exercise hosted by the Spanish Air Force to enhance interoperability and strengthen defense ties. Pune-based Zenetra Defense has successfully conducted trials of its indigenous Punisher multipurpose counter UAV gun Mountain J and K. The Indian Army has initiated an emergency procurement of the US-made FGM-148 Javelin anti-tank guided missiles, and the emergency purchase covers 12 launchers and 104 missiles. Bangalore-based Prime Toolings has developed the first prototype of India's indigenous detonation engine, designed for next-generation missile systems. The DRDO's Archer NG Medium Altitude Long Endurance UAV has successfully completed its maiden flight at the aeronautical test range, and the 45-minute sortie validated key aerodynamic and system parameters. The gas turbine research establishment is acquiring an advanced load cell calibration system to improve the accuracy of thrust measurements in its small thrust class engine programs below 5 kN. This development will directly benefit the indigenous technology cruise missile program, which uses the Manic small turbofan engine, enhancing its overall performance validation and reliability. The Indian Army has signed a 2,700 crore rupees contract with Bharat Forge and Adani Defence, for the supply of 425,000 close-quarter battle carbines. The order has been split in 60 to 40 ratio, which means 2.5 lakh Bharat 5.56 mm carbines will be supplied by Bharat Forge, and the remaining 1.7 lakh Jeet carbines by Adani PLR Systems, which is a licensed produced Israeli Galilee Lace carbine. The Defence Acquisition Council has cleared the Indian Army deal for 2,408 Nag Mark II anti-tank guided missiles from Bharat Dynamics Limited and 107 upgraded Namika Mark II tracked vehicles from Armored Vehicles Nigam Limited. The 7 km range Nag Mark II is a third-generation fire and forget missile that successfully completed trials at Pokhran in January this year, while the upgraded Namika Mark II launcher was also validated during the tests. The Defence Acquisition Council has cleared the collaborative long-range target saturation and destruction system for the Indian Air Force, which is a next-generation autonomous strike platform, capable of autonomous takeoff navigation target detection and payload delivery capabilities, as well as coordinated long-range precision attacks. After the Ministry of Defence returned the Indian Air Force's 114 MRFA fighter jets proposal for revisions and clarifications, citing insufficient detail on local manufacturing and technology transfer, the Defence Ministry has now mandated at least 75% indigenous content. The Defence Ministry has also demanded that frontrunner Dassault Aviation commit to local assembly, supply chain integration and partnerships with Indian firms. And if Dassault Aviation's offer fails to meet these benchmarks, rival contenders like the Eurofighter Typhoon equipped with Meteor Missile could gain traction by offering deeper local production and technology transfer commitments. According to a media report, the Indian Ministry of Defence has reportedly informed Russia that any deal for the Su-57 fighter jet will remain on hold, until the Russia-Ukraine conflict concludes, as finalising such a purchase could trigger CATSA sanctions by the US, potentially jeopardising the supply of General Electric engines for India's Tejas Mark one a and Tejas Mark II fighter programmes. Any disruption in this supply could delay inductions by up to six years, and India's internal assessment emphasizes protecting India's indigenous fighter ecosystem from sanctions and uncertainty. Today's top three comments. Oh, Mark, drop it.